So to take the battery out of this little smart for two car, what you're gonna need is some, some Torx bits, like those ones right there. And then you take, take, there's a plastic plate underneath there that's right there. So you take that plastic plate out and then you take that out. There's a couple, couple coolant um, ports that you see right here there and there the pipe that we have is we just use that to to move it out we're just uh, some guys doing it in our driveway we just jacked the front up put uh, our jack stands underneath holding it up jack stands in the back holding it up and basically it it weighs about 400 pounds so we had to have a jack, which that's what we use, just a little tiny floor jack to let it down. And then um, right here, as you can see, it has some rivets in there. We'll have to drill those rivets out. But there is a little port right there. See that little, I think a size, size 10. And then that port there. And then some pins there. The pin there, it was pretty easy. You just have to rotate the thing up like that and, and it came right off. But it was really not as hard as I thought it would be. Oh yeah, this is what broke. I think that got loose, didn't it? So one, oh, no, one thing that we too. realized we had... Does this look like a bus bar as well? Look, I, I wasn't recording. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, well, one thing that we had to do before we could Take this cover off as we had to take this piece right here see how it has an allen key in it we had to take that off there take all these bolts here off same thing around there had to take all those bolts drill the rivets here and then and then um, unbolt all the bolts all the way around take a little knife like that not to not to get too far into it because you don't want to puncture any of the wires so we just kind of push them in there and, and then pry it up a little bit. And there we have our modules. Looks like the uh, Acumotive, the German battery, not the Tesla battery. So here's the situation with this battery. Action! Action! <laughs> hit record! We, yeah, I hit record this time. <laughs> so um, we, we tested the, the battery from this side across to this side. Those two right there, that's that's where your BMS connects. All that down there is your BMS. And so if you don't have the right voltage, it's an open open loop and then it closes the loop if you don't have the right voltage. And so it won't allow any charge whatsoever. So we took, we took that off there and we tested from there across to here. And there's a bus bar that goes from there to there. Anyway, we tested from there to there and it was only nine volts. That that pack right there had three volts that pack had three volts and that pack right there had three volts so the whole thing only had nine volts we put this little um charger on here this imax um, b6 ac and it within about five minutes it charged the whole pack this entire pack up to 21 volts because that's the highest that this this imax will go and uh, so we're a little bit optimistic. We're hoping that we can, we can um, put a good charger on it. And the good charger that I'm talking about, we have this little um, Thunderstruck charger right here. And um, we're gonna set it in the back seat here. The, the packs right here that you see underneath here, those were um, Tesla packs from a smart car, but a newer smart car. But you can see the wires here. There's two wires there. We're gonna use those to to hopefully with that thunderstruck. We're gonna we're gonna change the the peak voltage, and um, we're gonna see if we can charge just little by little. We're gonna start at 120 and and uh, do a slow charge, and see what happens. Anyway, that's the progress.